Hey guys, this is Diane with Real 3 High Priestess. This is a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. This is a monthly reading for May 2019. I'm going to jump right in with you guys, alright? Thank you so much for coming back to watch your reading, coming back and supporting my channel. I do appreciate all of you. We're going to do the couples first in love. We're going to go into singles right after. Then we're going to take a look at your finances, okay? Hi, please give me the cards for Taurus. What is going on with Taurus and love? May 2019. What messages do you have for Taurus? Give me two cards as the overall energy, please. Taurus, you have the Hermit card in reverse. So, oh, Major Arcana card starting off here. You have the Hermit card in reverse. And then you have the Temperance card. Interesting. We'll see what's going on here with you guys, okay? You guys, I feel like you're going through something right now at this moment. You probably have the feeling of being kind of antisocial and withdrawn from people, okay? Or withdrawn from a love. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? I feel like you're just trying to bring balance back into your life. You're trying to bring in moderation, okay? And you're trying to make adjustments, all right? Let's see what you guys are doing here. Give me three cards for Taurus. What's going on with Taurus in love? Thank you. Let's help with all these major arcana cards. We're going on four. Four cards, okay? Four. Major arcana cards. Okay, Taurus, you are protected here, okay? I feel like you are... Um, you're protected by your your spirit guides. That's what I'm feeling here. You're being told to pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to your environment. I feel like this is what you guys are doing at this moment. Okay? You may have some people that you're trying to draw yourself away from or that... Maybe you have some fear here of something or someone... Okay, that's what I'm feeling here. You have the star card in reverse. Okay. You have the death card here. And then you have the five of swords. So I'm definitely getting that feeling like you are definitely withdrawing, retreating from something, leaving something, or leaving someone. This is a person, place, or thing that you're trying to abandon here, okay? That's what I'm getting. I see that it's not making you feel happy. It's got you in this energy of the devil, okay? Of feeling this um, bind or feeling this bondage going on, okay? There's either people around you that are jealous They envy you. That's what I'm getting here, Taurus, okay? And I feel like you, you're you in this energy that you always have to watch out for yourself. Always have to protect yourself, okay? The star card is bringing in somewhat of a paranoid state. And this is a feeling I'm getting here, the energy, okay? That you always have to look over your shoulders. But this is blocking your growth. This is, this is what I'm feeling here with this card being in reverse. Okay? And I feel like it's bringing in... The feeling that someone is trying to sabotage something that you're trying to build. <clears throat> they bring in conflict as well. Okay? With this five of swords. I'm going to take a look at your lover here. What's going on with your lover? 
Taurus, you're embarrassed about something. Or you're feeling there is a lack of control in the relationship. There's a lack of balance here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Your lover has a tower card here. They have the five of pentacles here in reverse. And then they have the six of pentacles here. Okay. This energy I feel can flow both ways. I feel like, Taurus, you feel like you're bound by this person, okay? Or there is some energy that, um, you're feeling stuck. There's a lack of balance in finances as well. This partner is feeling, okay, this pinch. That's what I'm feeling with this Six of Pentacles. And what's like going in order here? Five, six. This partner is looking for change, okay? There is enough. Ooh, okay, there we go. All right. I don't know if I want to say that. I feel like they might be envious of what you have. That's what I have here. Okay, I feel like that is what's going on here. There's some type of misuse of money on your lover's part here. Misuse of money. This is making them um, I feel like you're going to find this out. And that's why the tower card is here. You're going to find this out. It's going to be A shock or a blow to your your ego, okay? But I feel like it's a change um, that is bound to happen. There's this secret that they are either yes, misusing money, yes, misusing money, okay? But in their envious of you. I don't know why that's coming out like that. It's almost like I can't say it, okay? And they don't want me to say that, okay? I just feel like, um, man, this truth is going to come out. How they have you pent. I have. I feel like they have you in some type of hold, this bondage. That's what's here, okay? You may be fearing that this person is going to take what you have. Okay, you're deciding to take a rest on this situation, Taurus, okay? Someone is doing something here. They're like a fly on the fucking wall or something, listening to everything. They're just all up in it. I just feel like they're they're doing something, okay? Um, like they want to get over on you. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. This is about some theft. Somebody being envious. I feel like they're taking from you. And this is something that they don't want you to see. They don't want you to know it. Okay, that's what I feel. That's you back there. You're dealing with some earth sign. Another Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn. Okay. But I feel like this change is going to come. Let me see why this tower card. Let me see what's going to be happening with you guys, okay? I feel like things are going to move around for you, Taurus. This block will be whatever you feel like is blocking you from growing, from finding peace, okay? With this temperance card up here. I feel like whatever um, you've withdrawn yourself from, okay? is going to be removed with this tower card okay yeah the sun card is here over the tower card so this is a necessary change that is uh that needs to come in 
why is it five of swords here? I'm going to look at this five of swords. Why is it five of swords here? Yeah, you definitely want to take a rest on this. I see that you're coming to a realization, though, with the Four of Swords here in reverse, okay? This is your clarity uh, coming in and you confronting this situation, Taurus. I feel um, that you're going to do this because I feel like you want to draw in this piece. Uh, you want to bring in more balance into your life and you see that you don't want to be bound by this person, bound by this situation, um, there's a bit of manipulation here as well, okay? Let's take a look at some messages here for you. Spirit and angel gods of the most high, what messages do you have for my couple of Taurus, May 2019? This is for my couples, okay? Some secrets are going to be revealed. That secret, okay, about this imbalance. This is all up in my face. I feel like you're going to have something better, though, come in towards with this sun card. But you're going to get a realization, okay? This is going to be clarity for you that comes in about what's going on and what this person is really up to, whatever your lover is really up to, okay? That is like your caution type of sign there, okay? Yeah. You're being told to free yourself, okay? It's safe for you to love, open your heart to give, and receive the highest energy of all. You guys are still withdrawn. Some of my Taurus out there are going to stay withdrawn because they're trying to free themselves from this situation. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing, okay? That's what I feel like you guys are doing, okay? With this Hermit card in reverse. One more card for you. Yeah, you have extend your lighthearted energy to others, flirt. I feel like you're being pushed, pushed in another area. You know why, okay? I'm going to tell you why here. You're being pushed in another area. You have the sun card here, okay? Telling you that there are going to be uh, happier times. Once you pull yourself out of this uh, feeling of being trapped in this situation, okay? I feel like you can make the moves that you need to make. If you feel like someone is using you, abusing you, taking advantage of you, you're being told to make some changes, okay? Um, you're gonna bring in more success. You're gonna bring in more, um, more good health, mentally, physically. You may even bring in new partnerships, new relationships, okay? That are gonna be better for you. All right. Um, it doesn't have to be a relationship, okay? If you're in a deep relationship, this can be uh, a friendship that you bring in as well, okay? But I feel like there's definitely some growth here. You're being told in both of these cards, Taurus, to extend yourself, extend your lighthearted energy, and open up your heart to receive love, okay? From people that want to love you. I'm going to jump into my singles now all right let's see what's going on with singles spirit and angel guides of the most high please give me cards for a single taurus rising sign. what's going on with my single taurus in love look at that what what we have new love coming in. One more time, Taurus. Two cards for the overall energy. What is going on with my single Taurus in love? One more time. Thank you. You have the... Page of Wands, and you have the King of Pentacles here. It's not bad. 
it's not bad, okay? You may have someone coming in here. This person, um, I feel like it, it's going to be good news though, okay? Especially coupled with this King of Pentacles. It's someone that's going to be very business-minded, okay? That's what I'm feeling here. This is either someone's energy that you're dealing with or this is your energy, Taurus, okay? This could be definitely about your own financial stability, okay? And you being content. But whatever this is, okay? And I'm going to go into this deeper. I feel like this news is coming in towards you guys. Some type of message, okay? Let me take a look at this. I'm going to bring out one romance angel cards for you guys. Here's an angel, guys. Give me one card for the overall energy. So we have a new one coming in for my single Taurus. Honestly, I feel like that King of Pentacles is your energy. That's what I'm getting here. With the promise of someone else coming in. You have romantic feelings here, okay? Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I feel like this is the message that's coming in towards you guys. Someone may be out there that um, ready to take action um, towards you. Ready to give you um, news that they're interested seriously, okay? I feel like this is a good message, okay? Someone is asking you out. They're going to be very spontaneous and very social, okay? So they're going to want to take you out. And I feel like you're going to uh, find yourself spending a lot of time with this person, Taurus. That's what I'm feeling, all right? They may see you as this king of pentacles, Okay, very sharp, very um, conservative, okay, very stable. In the mind and in the finances, you may find yourself going on trips with this person and spending quite a bit of time with them. That's what I'm getting. Let's see what's going on with the single Taurus, okay? I'm going to take three cards for you, okay? Spirit and angel, guys, please give me three cards for Taurus, single Taurus. Sun, Horizon, and Venus sign. May 2019. What is going on with my Taurus and my single Taurus? Mm. Alrighty. One. Yes. Didn't I tell you it was there? Oh, what's the matter? Okay. You have the six of pentacles here in reverse. All right. You have the ace of pentacles here in reverse. Come on. And you have the lover's card. You're going to have someone else come in new. Okay. And I feel like this lover is going to come in at your, at the, I was going to say at your lowest point, okay? But I feel like you're going to be worried about some things and you're going to have a lot of other things on your mind. Um, that's why I feel like the angels have that honeymoon card in here asking you to take some time, okay, to enjoy yourself. Enjoy this company that's coming towards you. Enjoy this person that's trying to get to know you, okay? Um, some of my tourists out there are feeling this pinch i don't know if i said this at first this pinch okay of financial um instability okay i feel like some of my tours may have been dealing with looking at this on another angle you guys could have been dealing with um a past partner that was pretty greedy okay you may be very cautious about the next person that you bring in that's why you have the king of pentacles here and this lover's card this new lover that may be presenting themselves to you okay yeah let me pull some more cards for you i want to know why the six of pentacles is here why is the Six of Pentacles here for my single Taurus? 
what do they need to know? Some of you guys were dealing with someone in the past, okay? Or you may even be dealing with them right now, okay? <laughs> I know y'all single. Some of my singles are still out there with the partner, okay? For some reason, you may be... This may be you delivering a message, okay? To someone that you may feel cheated by. I feel like you're delivering this message with a page of swords, okay? About how you feel this imbalance okay you don't feel like an equal to this lover here okay <clears throat> that's what i'm feeling because i definitely don't see you doing that with this new person coming in why is the lover's card here i'm gonna take one more card for you all right and take a look at the lover's card yeah some of you guys are married or separated right now okay and the papers haven't gone through yet you have the three of Pentacles here this is some partner you were with someone okay this may be very well a twin flame for some of you guys okay because I see a lot of struggle here someone that you don't necessarily trust and you have financial worries about you don't feel the balance in the finances as well and I feel like you guys may be you may be having some words with the person, okay, that you're dealing with. This may be a Gemini, and it may be an Earth sign that I have here, okay? There is a lot of Earth here for you guys. I feel like you guys are the messenger that you want to... Possibly... Separate yourself from this. That's what I feel. Okay? You guys are getting... I feel like you're getting noticed. You are getting... Um, offers from other people coming in here. You're going to be like... You, you cannot deal with whoever this is anymore. Okay? That's what I'm feeling. So, I, I've switched from someone else coming in new to someone that you possibly are separated from. Because I feel like some of my singles may still be dealing with a relationship. Okay? Even though they're separated, they're still legally married or still legally together. That's what I feel here. But you are still looking for this outlet. Because you feel cheated in some sense. Like you... Like this is causing a delay in your life. That's what I'm feeling. Some of you guys may be ready to let this go. I'm going to take a look at your partner here. Okay. I'm going to shuffle these cards. Whoever you're interested in. I'm going to take a look at this love interest. Okay. I'm going to try to pull the energy for anyone new coming in. For my singles. Oh, shit. As I say that, I have someone walking. Look. Walking out. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Let me pull out two more cards for this lover. This is strange. Strange reading. Strange. Strange. Look at them leaving. No, buddy. So we're not talking about this new person coming in yet. My singles, we're still trying to deal with some love that has gone or been lost here. You have the Eight of Cups. You have the Two of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with a water sign, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And then you have the Knight of Cups in reverse here. All in reverse here with uh, these two at the end. I'm just feeling, you guys, that... This is definitely a transition for this person. They do bring in some sense of manipulation and drama, okay, and a hidden ag a hidden agenda. <laughs> they have a hidden agenda, okay? This two of cups here in reverse kind of like spells it out for you guys, okay? I feel like this, they're dis- they're 
dissatisfaction with the relationship or the way that they uh, feel about the relationship is causing miscommunication. That's why you're coming in as the messenger, Taurus, to clear this up. You may have someone else on your mind here, okay? Someone new that you're developing these romantic feelings for. That's what I have, okay? Someone else stirs up those feelings. I feel like you're going to deliver some news, okay? I feel like this lover or this love interest that may have be may be lost for some of you guys, okay? Um, they're already gone. You're going to have someone else come in here. And I feel like you guys are going to be guarding yourself, guarding this new love interest that may be coming in from this old lover, I don't feel like there's much of an offer from them anyway. They're walking away as well. Okay? They're feeling unfulfilled, but let me pull some more cards here. I want to see what's going on with this lover. We're going to pull the Sibila cards, okay? Spirit and Angel, guys, please give me the cards for this lover. What is the Eight of Cups here? What's going on with this letter? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Inconstancy. I just said that. Look, they weren't truthful to begin with. Okay? Telling you what you wanted to hear. Writing probably sweet letters to you. Okay? But not really bringing in... The truth, they just basically took back what they said. I'll love you forever. I'll be there forever. I'll, I, whatever the promise was, okay? I feel like with this inconstancy card, that is what they're walking away from. They're t they basically turn their backs, okay? That's what that is saying here. You're being told not to talk too much. Listen to what is being, say uh, being said. This person, I'm going to pull out another card before I say that. Yeah. <sighs> Promises that never come through. Okay. That's what I'm feeling here about this old person. I know we're looking for some a new person. You will develop uh, feelings for someone else. Okay. You do have someone else coming in here. I do see that with. Um, this knight of wands okay this may be a fire sign coming in maybe a sagittarius okay but i feel like there is something in the background that's still there someone that is married to someone that they are releasing a relationship they're trying to release it get through it okay because it's loveless that's what i'm feeling here okay let's go ahead and get a message Message from the um, angel answer cards. Okay, I'm gonna pull out one more message for you. My single Taurus spirit and angel guys, basically cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Moon, Venus, Sun. in the next few months okay let go improving health i feel like you're going to get this message of this new love coming in within the next few months okay what my single um taurus is working on is letting go of things as well letting go of past relationships um freeing yourselves from them uh, so that you can bring in this new love that's what i'm feeling here okay you guys are going to be doing some self-improvement on yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally as well. That's why you have the page here um, of sorts. I feel like you guys are going to be welcoming 
new things in your life and you're going to be cutting out anything that does not serve you. This could be legal documents coming in, okay? You guys may be serving this, okay? But you're having the confidence to move past challenging situations. It's going to help you improve your health. It's going to help you uh, bring in new partnerships as well and new love, okay? All right, let's jump into finances because I got sucked into your reading again. Let's go into finances, all right? Spirit and angel guys of the most high, please give me three cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. What is going on for Taurus and their finances for May 2019? One more time, Taurus. in their finances. That's it. Oh! <laughs> Look at you guys. I told y'all everybody looking good. Looking good. You have the Emperor card here, which is really good when it comes to finances, when it comes to business, when it comes to making decisions here. You have the Ace of Water. Look, some of you guys are bringing in some new love, okay? Some new um, possibilities in your life here. And you have the King of Earth, King of Pinnacles. Some of you guys got this. I think it was the singles, okay? So you're bringing in that successful time you're making uh concrete decisions in your life you're working towards your goals okay you're being more um organized more um analytical more logical about the decisions that you need to make and you're becoming more disciplined in order to uh become more successful if you're not doing this this is the energy you need to bring in in may okay you're being told to give everything your midas touch okay Give it your Midas touch. Give it your full attention. Be committed to your projects. Be committed to um, your ideas, okay? And confidently accept opportunities you're offered, okay? I feel like this is going to bring in some new beginnings for a lot of my Tauruses out there, okay? With the Ace of Cups, I feel, it's, feel like it's going to bring in um, a sense of renewal and a sense of um, growth, some of you 